Thank you for joining us again on the newsroom. Chief Justice of Nigeria, Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed, has charged the 22 newly sworn in judges of the High Court of the Federal, of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, to refrain from anything that would smear their names or bring them into disrepute. According to the CGN, the newly, CGN, the newly sworn in judges had entered a lifetime covenant with God and the Federal Republic of Nigeria and that whatever they do rightly will be counted and accordingly recorded in their favor. The Chief Justice charged them to rise above temptations and trials that might obstruct or even halt their rise to the pinnacle of their career. The United States Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, has launched the Community Prevention of Mother to Child HIV Transmission Program in Lagos to support a healthier population in Nigeria. Speaking at the launch of the program, U.S. CDC County Director Mary Boyd highlighted the U.S. mission's goal of strengthening local health systems in Nigeria to respond to disease-related threats. Boyd, who lauded the state's COVID-19 response, high routine immunization rate, and remarkable progress in HIV treatment search, advocated removal of other barriers hindering people living with HIV from accessing health services. The United Nations Children's Fund UNICEF says 86% of schools in Nigeria lacked access to clean water and other sanitation services. Manager of Water, Sanitation and Hygiene Wash of UNICEF in Maiduguri, the Borno State Capital, Mamita Thakar, affirmed that poor wash services have had a devastating impact on the economy, health, education and total well-being of Nigerians. Thakar, who presented the report at a media dialogue in Maiduguri as part of activities to mark the 2021 World Toilet Day said the issue of hygiene should be given serious attention by the Nigerian government and other stakeholders. France's Prime Minister has tested positive for COVID-19 hours after returning from a visit to neighboring Belgium and just as France is seeing a nationwide resurgence of infections, according to his office. Officials after Prime Minister's quarters say the Prime Minister will adapt his schedule for the coming 10 days to continue his activities in isolation. While 75% of France's population is vaccinated, the number of virus infections has risen quickly in recent weeks with hospitalizations and deaths linked to the virus also rising. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has announced that it has so far dispersed 864 billion naira to 4.1 million farmers to cultivate 5.02 million hectares of land under its Anchor Borrowers Program, APB, since inception in 2015. CBN Governor Godwin Emefiele made the revelation while presenting the communique from the recently held Monetary Policy Committee meeting of the Apex Bank in Abuja. Emefiele further pointed out that between September and October alone, the Apex Bank under the APP disbursed 43.19 billion naira to support the cultivation of over 250,000 hectares of maize, sorghum, soybeans and rice in the 2021 dry season. Sudan's newly reinstated Prime Minister Mdala Hamdok has ordered a halt to the firing of civil servants and a review of all appointments made after his detention in last month's military coup. The Prime Minister, who is still without a cabinet after returning to his post in a controversial deal with Sudan's top general Abdel Fattah al burhan said recent hirings and dismissals will be studied and reviewed. Hamdok, who was placed under house arrest after the coup was reinstated on Sunday, November 13, after the coup, which sparked a wave of mass street protests that triggered a deadly crackdown by security forces. The Nigerian Women Football League has placed a fine of 400,000 naira as penalty to women football clubs who register late for the 2021-2022 season, billed to kick off on December 8, 2021. In a statement signed by the Chief Operating Officer of the NWFL, Mudupe Shabi, the league body advised the Premiership clubs to ensure they perfect all registration processes before the closing date. The NWFL equally pegged 12 noon of Thursday, November 25, as the deadline for registration, with a stiff warning about non-extension. That's all on the newsroom today. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Simi Soladikon.